It's time to introduce a fascinating automation testing tool to the testing community and a community powered test automation tool. Let's see an introduction, comparison, and walkthrough on test project. Let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExitAutomation.com and welcome to an all new course on Test Project. Test Project is an one stop automation testing tool built to support platforms such as Windows, Mac operating system, Linux, iOS, Android and web services. It's really really cool to see Test Project is yet another automation testing tool that support so many different platforms easily without any problem. It's really really frictionless as well. Test project is an yet to become generally available automation tool which is currently in beta testing stage and is available on request for invite sign up option. So if you go to their website testproject.io you can find an option to request for an invite and you can just sign up very quickly. It's really really easy and the team in test project will approve if you do sign up. And it's also very exciting to see that the test project plans are really much better than any automation testing tool which has provided these many rich functionalities. The free forever option that you sign up will basically have up to five agent support and total of 500 MB support. And it has best effort support, which is more like how you ask questions and the team will respond to you. And then it has a basic REST API access and it has 30 days of execution history support and 720p screenshot resolution, unified SDK and advanced recorder. So this is a free forever plan. So anytime you sign up in test project, it will automatically give you these many access. So this is really, really cool to see this option itself is more than enough for anyone to play around with the tool and even they can use it for their real time project. Whereas the professional plan is pretty much exactly like forever free plan, but it has unlimited number of agent and two GB of storage support. Plus there is a priority support and full REST API access. At this point, I would say to give a try, just use free forever plan. It's really cool to see how it works. And I personally signed up and it's really, really cool to see that it has almost all the professional features and I could probably use this for my day-to-day -day automation effort as well. So why test project suddenly? We have seen many different testing tools in our exit automation, pretty much like test project, such as Catalan Studio, Mavil, Test Complete, and Selenium, Appium, etc. So these are some of the tools that we have already discussed in our exit automation, and they are pretty much like test project, but the tool differentiate the above tools in many different places. That's the real power of test project itself. And this time I have chosen Catalan Studio versus Test Project as a smackdown because these two tools are pretty close to their feature sets and they are free and they can be used by the community. And again, they both talk about community driven test automation. So I thought why not just compare Test Project with Catalan Studio. Installation of Test Project is as easy as a test agent. In Catalan Studio, installation is just a file unzip and it's much easy. So I would say the winner here is just a tie. So there is no big winner here. And test project uses agent to run the test in local remote machines and the agent can be anywhere in the world which is registered in your account. So this is one of the most great power of the test project itself and it differentiates itself from many different automation testing tool. But in Catalan Studio there is no such concept of agent and requires Catalan installed in each and every machine and there is no direct way to control all the instances. So you should have access to those instances and you should go into that machine in GUI or maybe you can run Catalan Studio in a command line and then you should run that. Well, I would say the winner here is clearly test project. And test project is much frictionless to run test on real Android and iOS devices and simulator since it has all the dependencies to run. Well, we have already discussed about Catalan in our previous courses of Excel Automation where it needs a lot of setups like Android SDK installation and there is a path required and it requires Node.js support, Appium, etc. So you need to have all this installation in place in Catalan Studio whereas nothing else is required in test project. Everything is much frictionless. So again, the winner here is clearly test project. 
Test project aims to go with no code model and is extendable. Well, Catalan Studio does exactly the same thing and is extendable as well. Well, the winner here is a tie. Test project has SDK support in languages such as Java, C Sharp, JavaScript. Well, the C Sharp, JavaScript, and other languages support SDK is not yet ready. So I would say that it's just Java support as of now in Test Project. Well, in Catalan Studio, we already know that it is built on the top of Eclipse IDE framework and it supports Groovy at this point. Well, the winner here is a tie because both of these tools supports one language in common. And Test Project is a web-based and job can be executed even from your smartphones because it's a web-based. It's really, really cool to see that you have the power of using it in a smartphone. You can just go to the portal and you can select a test job that you have. You can run that and it's just a one point click. It does things for you. Well, in Catalan Studio, no such concept exists. Something like you can run the test in your smartphone, but you can still use Docker container to run that from your computer, but not in smartphones though. So I would say the clear winner here is test project. So well, you can see that the rich features that it has got in the test project completely differentiate itself with the Catalan Studio or any other automation testing tool available with such a rich feature and which is also free. So I would say that test project is really a cool tool which is yet to be available in public, but the features that it has got is really, really awesome. So I would say that you can just give a try of installing it and how it works. And I will quickly walk you through the test project itself and show you how it actually works or run the test in your machine. Let's get started. So for running the test, I'm going to log into the testprojects.io website. And the testprojects.io website, as I said before, you can directly request for a free invite. If you click that, it will take you to this option and you can sign up here and you can request for a free invite and the team in test project will automatically approve you that. Well, I have already signed up and I'm going to sign in right now. There you go. So once I sign in, you can see all my projects, which is available within test project, which is already created into this portal. And you can see there is an option called agents. So if I click this particular agent tab, you can see that these are some of the agents which is available within my account. So this is a agent which is already installed in my Mac operating system. And this is an agent just currently installed in my Windows operating system. So I have two agents available and they are currently in disconnected stage and I will quickly run this and I will connect them. But you can see that the option itself is so cool that it is automatically connected and registered to the test project website. Well, the agents that you can see here once I hover, it supports Windows, Linux and Mac operating system. So you can run the test on these three different environments without any problem. That's really cool. And now I'm going to start my agent. As you can see here, I'm going to start and I have already installed the agent in my machine. I will talk to you about the installation and how to set up the test agent in our next video. But as of now, just bear with me. This is just an introduction part. I'm just going to start the agent for now. And now the test agent has been started and you can see that once I initiated it, you can see the status of the test agent is currently in starting stage. And now I'm going to go to my home and I'm going to select the execute automation test here. And if you go to the folder, which I have already created here, I have something called as general flow and I have already created two jobs in my portal and I'm going to select this test. So what this test basically does is it is going to execute the test in three different browsers. So if you see the edit option here, hit next and it's a web test. And I have selected one, two, three, four browsers and I'm going to hit next and I'm going to hit save. So we'll talk about the job creation and all the stuff in our upcoming videos of this course. But as of now, just bear with me. I'm just going to show you how it actually look and how it works. So I'm just going to execute the test and it asks me whether do I need to run the test. And if I hit execute, what it does is it is going to run all the test in my local machine and then it will spawn all the tests for me. As you can see, the test has started in my Chrome browser. It has completed that. And then it is running in the Firefox browser. For some reason, it has executed the Edge browser in my another monitor. So we couldn't able to see that. 
and then it is opening the last browser which is the IE browser. So I have not personally tested an IE browser because most of the time IE driver has some kind of problems and it always doesn't execute which is fine and that's the exception as of now. But you can see that it is currently executing all the tests for me in all these different browsers and now if I want to see the report I need to go to the job once again. You can see there is an option called reports. I can click that and you can see that currently it is loading the reports for me. So these are the tests it has executed and you can see that this is the local agent one and it has like 82% of test got passed. The reason is because the test has not executed in IE browser and you can see that it has got failed but it has executed the test in Edge browser, Chrome browser and Firefox browser. So these are the tests which has been executed in my test and everything is working fine without any problem. So this is how you can see the complete report of the particular test in my machine and you can also see the jobs which has been executed in my Mac operating system if I have the test running there. So this is really cool. So if a Mac operating system is running and it, the test agent has already been connected and the Mac operating system can be anywhere in the world and I can click one button from here to initiate the test so that the test can execute even from my Windows machine without any problem. That's really really cool. So these are some of the cool options which is available within test project and you can see that you can also create add-ons and you can create custom reports and you can also extend test project with using SDKs. So but currently the supported SDK as I said is only Java but you can still extend the code from JavaScript, Python, C Sharp and Groovy. That's really really cool. So these are some of the great options available in test project. We'll be discussing more about test project from pretty basic to advanced. So stay tuned for more videos on test project. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.